what is the purpose of the gifts of the Holy Spirit? Well, according to the scriptures, the gifts of the Spirit are given for the edification of the church, basically for encouraging believers or strengthening uh, believers. So uh, the gifts of the Spirit are primarily for church. Uh, they may have uh, a usage outside the church in terms of evangelizing uh, uh, unbelievers. But that's not the primary purpose of it. The purpose of it is for the building of the church, for the encouragement of the church, for, for allowing the power of God to be seen within the church when it gathers and fellowships together. Right. So will it, will it have, have application for the individual as well? Well, God doesn't give us the gifts. Uh, the Holy Spirit doesn't give us the gifts for our benefit. Uh, when, when God is using a gift through you, you are almost like a, a tap or a pipeline uh, through whom water is flowing. And that is the interesting thing. So water can flow out of you and you may still be thirsty. Uh, and so, for example, God can uh, flow his healing power through a person and the person can be sick because the, the gift is not his possession. It is an outflowing of the Holy Spirit. And, and if he needs to receive healing, he must receive it just like everybody else receives it or somebody else ministers to him. And, and there have been great people God has used in the healing uh, with healing gifts and, and who were unwell. Uh, and people would wonder, I mean, how can you be uh, bringing healing to people and you are sick? It, it's not a matter of you having a gift uh, and using it for yourself. It's the Holy Spirit uh, working through you, just like water flows through a, a tap. You are just a channel for God to get his power across to people. So all the gifts, whether it's word of knowledge, uh, miracles, uh, working on miracles, whichever they are, they are not for your benefit, the, the one whom God is using, is for the benefit of his people through whom uh, the, the, the Holy Spirit uses you to minister to.